Hi there, it's Michael Ackerman coming to you from Seattle, Washington, where I am a realtor with Coldwell Banker Bain. Today's video blog is for all you homeowners out there and maybe future homeowners. And that is next year in 2013, starting May 1st, there's a new rule by the U.S. Uh, Energy Department of Energy, pardon me, that says uh, certain states, and there are 30 northern states in the United States, Washington State being one of them, will not allow you to put in anything less than a 90% efficiency furnace or better. If you're buying new construction and a developer builds the house after May 1st next year, they're gonna to have to put in at least a 90% energy efficient furnace. If you're a current homeowner and you have a furnace and you have to replace it after that, you won't be able to put in a 75 or 80% uh, energy efficient furnace. You're gonna to have to put in 90% or above. Some people with old furnaces now are going out and buying 80% energy efficient furnaces and putting them in. The challenge sometimes with a 90% uh, efficient furnace or better is that they have to be vented directly to the outside. If you own a townhome and you have a furnace in a closet in the center of your townhome, it could be a little difficult. You may have to run some duct work and it could be a little bit more expensive. So just a little bit of a warning. You do save about $400 a year in savings with heating costs with a 90% energy efficient furnace. And it does cost on the average about $1,500 more than an 80% uh, energy efficient furnace. So I hope this is helpful. Remember after May 1st of next year, uh, you will have to put in a 90% energy efficient furnace or over that. I do also know that a lot of vendors are actually not going to be carrying 80% uh, energy efficient furnaces next year because they're afraid they'll be stuck with them if they don't sell by May 1st. So you may want to shop around a little bit, but if your furnace is old, you're thinking about replacing it, you might want to think about it sooner than later. If you have any other questions about real estate in general, feel free to email me at michaelackerman at cbbain.com. And do remember, it's all about the connection.